Hi everyone, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use one of the most powerful tools inside of Photoshop. That tool is the Curves Adjustment Layer. So why would you use this Curves Adjustment Layer, which I've mentioned a minute ago? You use it because it can do so many things in one place. So for instance, you can change the lightness, the darkness of your image. You can add in more contrast, you can take away some contrast. You can change the colour of your images and you can change the tonal value of your colour. Now, if all of that's not a good enough reason, then Probably the most important reason is that it's really, really easy to use. You will be surprised to know that a lot of people which use Photoshop regularly still don't use the Curves Adjustment Layer. It's like having a washing machine and then deciding to have to wash your clothes. Why would you do it? Maybe you think it's because it could be a difficult tool to find and then in the Photoshop mainframe they've tucked it away somewhere so it's difficult for people to actually access. Well, it's not. In fact, it's right here. All you have to do is go to adjustments and click on curves. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna take an image and we're gonna transform that image with the curves adjustment layer. You're gonna see how easy it is to do that. And another great thing is the image which you're gonna see in front of you in a minute has been added to the description area of YouTube. So if you want, you can click on that image and you can join along with me today and then do everything that I'm doing with the same image. Right guys, I'm really excited about getting on with this now today and then showing you how to use this. So let's jump in now without further ado and get started. Okay, so you should have your image in front of you now so you can join along with this tutorial. So the very first thing that you wanna start by doing is obviously opening up a Curves Adjustment Layer. Now remember how easy that is to find, you've just got to come up to Adjustments here, click on that, and then click on Curves there. Alternatively, you can also come down here, click there, and then go up to Curves. Now that I've opened Curves, you can see it's contained in this box with a graph which runs down the middle. So let's explain to you what this graph really means. On the right hand side and the top hand, the top side, that represents the lights in your image. On the left hand side and the bottom of the graph, that represents the darks in your image. So let's just give you a quick example of what I mean. This line that runs down the middle, I'm going to drag it and push it up. So that's now affecting the lights, which like I said is the right hand side and the top. If I drag this down, it's affecting the darks in the image, which is the left hand side and the bottom. To get rid of a point that you've created, you can just click on it, drag it off, and then it just gets rid of it, deletes it. So you can see that you can affect the lights and the darks in the image quite easily. You just have to make sure that you're on RGB mode, and then you can do that. Now let's just take a quick look at the picture that we're going to be changing today. And this picture at the moment, it's a beautiful image. It's a picture of a woman and she looks very cold. Um, you can see this, it's represented by the hat with the snow on and all the fur that she's wearing. The one thing I will say about this image is it's quite flat, which means there's not much contrast between the lights and the darks in the image. So. Let's change that with curves. It's really easy to do. We now know that the right hand side of the image and the top hand side of the image affects the lights. So to create contrast in an image, you want more contrast between the lights and the darks. So to do that, we'd add more light in by pushing the curve up here. And then we'd want more contrast with the darks in the image, so we'd grab the curve here and pull it down to introduce in more darks. You can see in the image now we've got a lot more contrast between the lights and the darks. Just to prove that, let's quickly go onto the eye here, have a look at the before and after. This is the before, the image is quite flat, and then this is the after. You can see that we've really added a lot of contrast into the image. So that's great, that's the first thing that you can achieve 
with the curves adjustment layer. It's really made quite a difference to the image. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the colour, especially in the background of this image here. So we know that from the image, the story it's telling us is this woman is cold, and you can see that by what she's wearing on the snow. But the colour doesn't really represent that. To make an image look cold, you need to add in blues and cyans. They are cold colours. So to find the area on the curves adjustment layer that we can affect the colour, all we need to do is come to the drop down here. And then you can see three options. We've got red, green and blue. So these are all colours, which is self-explanatory. What we want to do, like I said, is push in more blue and cyan into the image to give it that cold effect. So I'm going to click onto red first, and I'm going to show you how the colours work. So everything above this line is red. So if I push up here, I'm going to add red into the highlights. I push up here, I'm going to add red into the mid-tones. I push up here, I'm going to add red into the shadows. The difference being that when I pull this curve down, I'm actually going to be changing colour, because the opposite of red is cyan. So watch what happens now. If I pull down this curve, I'm actually pushing cyan into the mid-tones. I pull it down here, cyan into the highlights, and pull it down here cyan into the shadows. So you'll remember that I wanted cyan and blue in the image. So let's drag the curve down a little bit to introduce in that cold effect. Now let's click on this arrow down here and then go on to blue. And let's push the blue up here and add in a little bit of blue as well. So now you're able to see this real cold colour in the image and it just adds that that extra thing into the story here just to really show that this woman is in this cold environment. So what I'm going to go and do now is I want to actually make her face a bit more red and that's so that you can see the cold biting in at her skin just really adding that more depth into the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another curves adjustment layer so that we're not working on this one. So I'm going to click up here on adjustments and then click on curves. Now we know that the colours can be found in the drop down here, so I'm just going to go into red and I'm going to push up the red here and just introduce a bit of red into the image and you can just see how it's give her face that nice red colour now. The issue being though is that I've affected the rest of the image and I've kind of put a bit of red in there as well, which I don't really want. The great thing about curves is, is that they actually come along with a mask. Now you should know that masks hide or reveal a part of your image. So I want to hide this effect in the image to start with. I'm going to press Ctrl I on my mask and you can see that I've hid this effect. Then I'm going to make sure I'm on my brush tool which is found here and on a low flow of around about 20%, I'm just going to paint in this effect so it only shows up on her face. You can now see that her face is coming through with that lovely red colour. which just shows that she's kind of cold in her cheeks and that the blood is coming to the top of her skin there. So this image is really starting to transform. So the last few things that I want to do with this image, just to show you what Curves is really capable of doing to your edits, is I'm just going to add a bit of light into the subject here and a bit of dark into the background. And what that's going to do is it's going to draw your eyes into the image so that you're really drawn into the subject and that the background doesn't draw your eyes as much. So let's just show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and open up another Curves adjustment layer and I'm going to push up my mid-tones here and push in a bit more light, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this on my mask by pressing Control i and then I'm going to paint in the areas that I want it visible. So I'm just going to paint it in the face here a little bit, just in the hat here, and just in the gloves as well, and just the hair at the side. This is drawing a bit more attention into the face 
which we want. Now finally I'm going to have my last adjustment layer which I'm going to create which is obviously a curves one and then I'm going to drag the line down and this is going to add dark into the image. I'm going to hide this effect by pressing Control I on the layer again or on the mask and then I'm going to paint in the dark around the edge of the image. And this is just so your eye is really drawn into the middle of the image here. And there we go. And that looks really, really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up my layers here by shift clicking on them all like that and then pressing Control or Command G if you're on a Mac to group them together. Now let's have a look at the before and after to really see how far we've took this image. So this is the before. You can see we've got a really flat image. There's not much difference between the lights and the darks in the image, so there's no contrast. There's not much colour. You can see she's cold, but that's about it. Now let's have a look at the after. We've really transformed this image and all with just the curves adjustment layer. So that's how you use curves in Photoshop. Pretty easy, right? I mean, all we had to do was push a line up to affect the lights, pull a line down to affect the darks, and then we had to do the same with the colours. So it's not something that's difficult to use at all. I hope you're kind of chomping at the bit now to start spicing up your images by using the curves adjustment layer. I hope you've enjoyed today's video most of all, and I hope you find it helpful. If you've liked it, just click like on YouTube so I know that you've enjoyed the video. And most of all, subscribe to our channel so that you can watch these videos every single week. Whatever you do today, guys, have a great day. And I hope to see you all again really soon.